What is a necessary evil when it comes to supersizing and growing your business? Sharon Hornells from here, and our idiom for today is a necessary evil. Now, this idiom has been around since ancient Greek times, and it actually referred to marriage, and it was considered a necessary evil because it was expensive, and it was really expensive back in the day, as well as cumbersome, yet it was the only way to legally and morally back then procreate to have kids right and to have a family so you had to go to the expense and the the hassle of being married if you wanted to have a family now thomas paine called government a necessary evil and so the idea of sometimes we have to do things that we don't like or that we think are bad in order to create something good in the world it means that uh Usually it has something to do with the biological imperative, right? We got to eat, we have to drink water, or we're going to perish, right? You're going to die if you don't eat and drink. You're going to uh, have to exercise and move your body if you want to have any energy and flexibility and if you want to lose weight and take care of yourself. A lot of people consider exercise a necessary evil. I personally think taxes are a necessary evil. So when I think about growing and supersizing my business, it's something we have to do, but it doesn't mean we like to do it, but we understand why it's for the greater good. So curious, what do you consider a necessary evil in your business? And as you're, especially as you're building and supersizing and growing your business. Some people love to learn and grow and develop. Other people realize that in order to grow and supersize their business, they have to become a better version of themselves. They have to let go of some of the beliefs that they've held probably for a very long time. But a necessary evil is something that's unpleasant or something we consider unpleasant that must be accepted in order to achieve a particular result. So if we want a certain result, you know what? Some people think it's a necessary evil that they, they can't go out with their friends on Friday night because they have to do things for their business or uh, it, it, things like that. So I'm curious, what do you consider a necessary evil or have you in the past as you're growing and building and supersizing your business. Like I said, taxes, struggling, decision making, making choices, they're all things that, and you know, reaching a different level of maturity, setting a good example, modeling other people, having plans, having goals. A lot of people don't want to do those things and they're not willing to do them in order to create a business that changes the world. But if you're listening to me and watching this crazy mask, you probably don't have a problem with those things. I still say taxes is one, and, and I'm going to agree with Thomas Paine, and I think government is a necessary evil, but that doesn't mean government has to necessarily be evil. That comes down to people. For our annual challenge today, I talked about, um, I'm asking two questions every day for the month of December just to do something a little bit different, and sorry, uh, today one of them was do evil people exist? What may, and then what makes people evil? And so I did a bunch of research on evil yesterday, which was kind of depressing, I'll, I will admit. But I shared 16 signs of evil people and things we want to be on the lookout for. I think I'll run through some of those today because I think in our business, these apply as well. And then we want to make sure that we're not exhibiting and doing any of these things either, right? So uh, number one, enjoy the misfortune of others. Number two, uh, have control issues. Number three, they're habitually dishonest. Number four, they mislead you. Number five, uh, you feel strange when you're around them. We all have the, our spidey senses or our intuition. And when something or someone makes us feel off or icky or negative or concerned or anything like that, we usually need to run the other way. Uh, they lack remorse. They're cruel. They lack responsibility. They don't take responsibility for the havoc that they cause. Uh, their friends and family will warn you about them. They are bad friends. Now, just because somebody's a bad friend doesn't mean they're evil. They just might be, a, you know, selfish. Number 11, they're racist, sexist, homophobic, bigots, etc. Anything that you, usually gets a, a negative name attached to it. Uh, I would add they are often entitled and judgmental. That's just me. Uh, they manipulate. They belittle you. They can cause confusion and conflict, usually wherever they go. They lead double lives, and finally, they don't have boundaries. So I guess it's always a good idea to say and ask ourselves, are we exhibiting any of those evil behaviors? And if so, now's the time to change. All right, that's it. That's all I've got today. If I can help you anyway, ask. 
What do you consider a necessary evil for growing and building and supersizing your business? I'll be with you tomorrow. Bye.